Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this video we're going to be talking about the text selector in jQuery. Now the text selector will select all input types with the, with the type text. So for example, input type equals text. Um, if we were to use the text selector, this would be the field that would be um, the current uh, element. So we've got this input type of text. Let's go over to our browser and refresh and preview this. You can see that we've just got a text element. Now, if we wanted to create a global um, styling system, I guess, where every time we were to click onto an element or a focus in on an element and then focus back out, we created a, a background color of yellow, for example. Or in actual fact, we could create a border or apply any CSS rules to this. So let's go ahead and test this out. Um, we're going to go over to selectors.js, which we have included in our page. And inside selectors.js, we need to first of all reference when we click this, uh, or when we click or focus into this uh, particular element. So the element is text, and we use a colon and then text to reference this. So now we can say focus in and we can create a function inside of here. So we're creating a um, an event handler for all type all input fields with the type text. So now when we uh, focus in on something we can just alert hello to test this out. So when we focus in uh, that's not worked so I think we need to create that small i. Okay, so now that we've focused into our uh, text area, we get this message, hello. Um, yeah, obviously that's going to keep coming up now because we're constantly focused in. However, what we can now do is we can reference our, uh, our text area uh, by using this. And then we can say dot CSS and we can apply some basic CSS to this. So I'm going to say background color yellow. Yellow. So now when we focus in on this, um, the background color should have changed to yellow. Ah, so let's go ahead. Sorry, that's uh that was my fault there. We need to supply two arguments. The first one is the uh, property itself and then the value of this property. So let's go ahead and refresh. When we click on here, we see that the box turns yellow. Uh, when we come away, nothing happens because we haven't set the, um, the um, focus out uh, to this as well. But for time's sake, let's just go ahead and copy and paste this down and then change that to focus out and change the background color to uh, white. Okay, so now when we click in here, we get yellow when we uh, focus away. Uh, that should be, oh no, sorry, it would be blur. Um, when we focus in and then out, it should change, but it doesn't. Let's just try and amend that there. That should, okay, yeah, so uh, I forgot the hash. Okay, so now when we uh, click in, so we when we focus into a text box and we focus out, uh, this now changes the background color. So we have the effect here, but now what happens when we are add other elements such as text area? Now text area does not belong to the type text input field uh, set. So when we click on this, uh, we don't get the same effect. So we can set specific effects to uh, input fields by using this text selector. We could, for example, change this to, uh, I think it would be text area, uh, I'm unsure. Let's have a look. No, it's not. Uh, so yeah, so uh, just as another example, let's go ahead and change this to button and button. And now you'll see that we can't click, when we click on here, the background color doesn't change. So we're specifically selecting this text area uh, and changing all this text form field and changing the background color when we focus in and then removing it and change back to white when we focus out. So this uh, selector is extremely useful for when you have form fields 
and you want to apply styling to all of these particular fields, text fields, but you don't actually want to apply it to things like the buttons um, and anything else like that. So obviously we can use the input uh, selector as well. And what the input selector will do will will change everything with the value input. So it still works on here. Uh, it doesn't work on the t oh, well. It does work on the text area. Okay. So now it's also worked on the text area. So just by using input, we have any input fields. Uh, it applies to all of them. However, we can select specific um, form fields as well with specific values. For example, we can also choose password, uh, but we'll be looking at that in another part of the tutorial.